All right, we're all familiar with the directing prowess of Peter Jackson, but for his latest movie, Mortal Engines, he's let someone else take the director's chair, and he too is a Kiwi. What is that? That is London. Based off the novel of the same name, Mortal Engines is set in a post-apocalyptic steampunk world where entire cities are mounted on motorised machines that devour smaller cities in their path. In the great game of survival, this is checkmate. Packed with mind-blowing special effects, this epic blockbuster is produced by iconic filmmaker Peter Jackson and directed by Oscar-winning visual effects artist and fellow Kiwi Christian Rivers. I kind of thought I was ready for it, but not until you're in the director's chair do you realise you're not ready to it until you're sitting in that chair and then you just gotta kind of, you just, just gotta go. Yeah. You just gotta go, you don't have time to think about it and you just gotta basically pretend to everyone that you're not terrified. So we come out of The Hobbit and this is a, you know, we had the rights to these books and, um, and we wanted to make this film and it's like, you know, Christian, <laughs> Come forward, you know. It's like we've got a film, a film for you, you know. And, and it's like you know, obviously he, he thought about it for a, f a few minutes. And action! So you've known him since he was 17 years old. He left school like I, I gave him his first job. Yeah. And I've just given him his last job. Well, his, <laughs> not last, his latest, his latest job. Very bad. Oh, cut that, cut that out later. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Um, but I was in really good hands. I mean, you know, working alongside, you know, um, Peter for all, you know, for so many years. Mm. Um, you know, I, uh, on The Hobbit, I got to do some second unit. Um, and, you know, second unit, sometimes, usually it's just action stuff. You're shooting, like, I don't know, cars or a bit of fight or, you know, close-ups and stuff. But my first my first day directing second unit, I was, I was directing Ian McKellen. And, um, yeah. you know, so it's like, you know, I was jump, thrown in the deep end actually working with actors. So Mortal Engines is set in the future and a lot of the projects that you've worked on together are kind of set in these ancient, yes. you know, times. So, yeah. so how was that kind of switching it up? Well, we got to have engines and wheels and things that really weren't invented. And caterpillar tracks and chimneys and smoke, stuff that we haven't actually shot films with that sort of no. stuff, have we? No. Hey, watch out! Valentine. This is for my mother. Joining the cast alongside Hugo Weaving is Iceland's Hera Hilma and Ireland's Robert Sheehan. What do you think we'll look at in 100 years and be like, man, how the hell did they live like that? Probably, I know, uh, I wonder about that a lot Eating of times. meat. You know, um, there's the future shock theory that if you brought somebody from, like, you know, caveman times... I know, I've... ...and dropped them into the present, they would die. die. Well, I've thought about this almost like, how would they die? Would it be a heart attack? Would it be, like, you know, what is it They'd just probably trip just over. Go, like, the they'd probably just... fall off their Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Engines is three and a half thousand years in the future, so it's really fun to kind of imagine worlds that you have never seen and don't exist and have never existed. Maybe they'll exist one day. The most boring thing would be to shoot a film that's set now. Today, yeah. Today that would be really dull. It must be something of a thankless task, making a movie like that that's based on the book. So many fans apparently upset that the lead character, she has two eyes and no obvious scar. Right. They're really upset about that in the promo, so <laughs> you well, can't please everyone. Work it out in the comments section of YouTube, guys. <laughs> Mortal Engine is out in cinemas on December 13th.